Have you ever thought about why your audio doesn't sound as good as other YouTubers? Well, we're gonna discuss that coming up. What's up everyone, thank you for stopping by and checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I make videos just like this once a week, and so this is a great opportunity for me to connect with you, as well as for maybe you to get some knowledge from different products that I review throughout a week. This week we're going to be reviewing the US Key Vision shotgun mic. It's the UVM Pro. Uh, it says right here that it's professional vlog microphone with headphone monitor. It's compatible with your phone, your tablet, your computer, as well as your camera. That's a DSLR or mirrorless camera. A couple of facts about this uh, specific shotgun mic is it's going to have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. There is no battery required to make this work. Uh, it is a single direction mic, meaning a shotgun mic. Typically, you face it directly where the audio is coming from, and uh, that's how you're going to be able to produce the best audio or volume out of that uh, particular mic. Uh, it also has a 72 uh, dB, which means anything over that, it's not going to be able to record, but anything under that, you should be able to uh, get some good audio out of. Uh, the sensitivity is going to be 40 dB plus 2 dB, uh, meaning it's going to be a little bit more sensitive than the Rode Video Micro. And I'll show you kind of uh, that example here in a minute. So if this is your first video watching of mine, uh, chances are you might not know my setup, but currently I use the Rode Video Micro to film the majority of my videos. I set it up on a little tripod and I put it out of frame. And uh, that way I'm still able to get some good audio, uh, but you don't necessarily see that microphone in frame. And that's how a lot of YouTubers do it. They either boom it up high, they boom it to the side, or uh, they have it down low out of frame. And they always aim it directly where the audio is coming from. So for me, I'm aiming it at my face. We're going to switch over to the onboard microphone on the camera. I'm using the Canon EOS R6 and you can kind of get a feel for why you need a, uh, a specific mic to do your recordings. Alright, so now you should be hearing the recording out of the camera itself. Uh, it's going to sound a little bit noisy. You might even pick up some noise from my ceiling fan or even the fan on the key light right here. You might even hear the TV going in another room. Uh, but that's just the way these uh, microphones work on these cameras. They're designed to pick up a lot of uh, noise and a lot of volume. Uh, they don't really specify or you can't really control what volume it is picking up. Just anything that's going on, it's more or less going to uh, record and add it onto your file. So switching back, this is the Rode Video Micro again. Uh, this is a $60 mic. I bought it on Amazon. I believe you can find it at Best Buy as well. Uh, it's a very inexpensive mic, but the more you learn about audio, you can really uh, kind of tone this in and make it a, uh, a really good mic for an inexpensive price. And so the question is, is can the US Key Vision shotgun mic compete with this and can it perform to the level that this one performs? And so let's go ahead and plug that one in. Okay, so now that that one is plugged in, you can kind of see uh, the difference in the audio. Uh, again, this is going to be a lot more sensitive than the Rode Video Micro. It's also going to produce a higher volume than the Rode Video Micro. So if you're using a audio preset, chances are you're going to have to bring down that volume level in order to make this sound uh, similar to what you were using or uh, decent in audio quality. So for me personally, uh, I, I really like the form factor of this mic. I enjoy the fact that it is a small mic and is very comparable to the Rode Video Micro. Uh, I don't like having a big mic on top of my camera. Uh, I don't want to be very uh, noticeable if I'm filming or if I'm recording and to still be able to capture some good audio. So right now I'm using this and it has the uh, the windscreen or the dead cat on it uh, and that's in order to just basically bring that volume level down just a little bit. Now your setup you can record it however you want to but that's just what works for me in hopes of reducing some of that extra noise like I was saying earlier the fan up top or the fan from the key light. Alright guys, so I'm on the Rode Video Micro right now, and this is how it would sound if you were to use it uh, more or less in an outdoor environment, not necessarily in a studio or inside. So we're going to switch over to the US Key Vision now. Alright, now we are on the US Key Vision mic. Uh, again, the way that I'm seeing it is it's going to be a little bit loud or louder than your uh, Rode Video Micro. 
uh, still capturing some good quality sound uh, just might be a little louder than what uh, you might be used to and here you are of course with absolutely zero uh, mic plugged in and you can definitely tell the difference uh, especially when it comes to the amount of noise or the amount of volume that your camera is picking up so final thoughts before I go back into the house um, the Rode Video Micro and the US Key Vision shotgun mic both are going to be good viable options uh, especially whenever you're wanting to, or wanting to uh, record some better audio but I'm always going to recommend that you at least purchase some uh, shotgun mic and do not use the microphone that's built into the camera because you're not going to get uh, good audio like you would like Okay, so some extra features that US Key Vision included with this package is going to be uh, one, the shock mount right here, or the shock absorber. Uh, and that's the same thing that you're going to get in your uh, Rode Video Micro package. But it also came with uh, two different aux cords. So one is going to be for your camera, and then the other one will be for your phone. And that way you're able to use this directly with your smartphone. And so what you'll do is you'll plug it in directly into the back, and then if you're using an iPhone, you're going to need the uh, lightning adapter. And then you'll plug that into your phone. And then you'll mount that into uh, whatever you're using to basically record. So for me, I have it set up on this uh, little tripod right here, phone mount, and a mount that can hold the mic. And now I have a quick vlogging setup if I wanted to use it like that. I could turn the mic around and record something that's on that side. Uh, so there's different possibilities that I can use with this microphone in particular. You can see right here, it also gives you a port for headphones. And so that's for you to basically, you plug your headphones into it and then you can monitor the audio that's coming out of the mic. And that way you can dial it in on your camera if you need to. So all in all guys, this mic, it's a great option, especially if you're getting into this and especially if you're learning about audio and how audio works. And there's also a lot of different possibilities. You don't necessarily have to use this on top of your camera. You can use it just like this. Uh, you can also use it on top of your phone. You can uh, boom it off somewhere. And it's just a great compact option uh, if you're not wanting to carry around or haul around some heavy uh, microphones and some big microphones. And so if you're interested in this mic, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. Uh, I It will be an affiliate link. However, I don't receive any extra money from yourself. Only if you uh, click it and if you purchase it, do I receive a portion from Amazon themselves. It goes right back to the account that helps me continue purchasing items such as this and reviewing them for you. And, uh, and hopefully it can help you in your creative field moving forward. But that's going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. Uh, and if you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. I, whichever one works for you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the description down below. As always, guys, I'm going to see you in the next one. Later.